everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here with Two Peas in a Bucket with another personal shopper video showing you my product recommendations for your requests. I've had a lot of requests for travel and so I'm going to start with that today and I'm going to divide it up into two parts. One that is more the um, modes of transportation and different destinations and things like that. And then part two I'll do next week, which will have more of a tropical theme. So the beach vacations and travels and things like that. So starting out, um, I have some embellishments I wanna show you first, and then some journals and different things to take on the road with you as I've had some requests for that. How do I scrapbook while I'm on the road? And then lastly, I'll wrap it up with a few um, paper collections. So starting out, these are um, train tickets from Seven Gypsies, and you get 14 different pieces. So there's seven different styles here, and you get two of each. Love the vintage look of these and the colors. Make great little embellishments. Seven Gypsies also has some um, mini label stickers and there's two sheets of these and you get a lot on each um, sheet. This is one whole sheet here and they're just a bunch of different word stickers that have a different fonts and icons that just give a lot of interest to your projects and you get a lot there. We also have several different kinds of um, stickers in our boutique section. So again, our boutique items are one-of-a-kind items that have been hand-picked by our buyer that we'll have for just a limited time. So I saw we just have a few of these left on the shelf, so you want to grab them. This is the destination style, and there's 24 pages, and I'll flip it over here. I wish I could open these, um, but they are sealed. So um, out of respect for our future customers, I'm going to keep them sealed. But this um, includes eight examples here shown above, but there's 24 assorted sheets. So you get globes, different international destinations. You get them in circles and ovals and rectangles, different icons, lots of interesting things. There's also an Americana version. So you get all those places in the States. The Route 66. I love the vintage feel of them. You get flags, lots of cool stuff, lots of old poster imagery. This one has more of a nautical theme. It's the Bon Voyage. You get a cruise ship, um, different suitcase label stickers, again, different shapes and sizes. And then this is the Paris version. So you get a lot there. So those are the different sticker sets that I thought were really cool. When I think of travel, I also think of um, flying in airplanes and clouds. There's this stamp from Tim Holtz. Um, I'm sorry, this is a Stampers Anonymous, or it's Tim Holtz with Stampers Anonymous and um, the airplane stamp. And then I love these chipboard shapes from Studio Calico with different um, shapes and sizes of these clouds in different colored blues would make a fun embellishment. We also have these tags from Seven Gypsies. These are the global art tags. And you get quite a few in here and they have these scalloped edge and then you can punch a hole through there. You can tie it with um, ribbon, just use it as an interesting photo mat. There's all different kinds of destinations on there. Definitely gives you a travel feel like you're setting out on a journey. There's also these stamps from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. This is a set. So um, a lot of times he'll offer the stamps in woodblock or rubber cling stamps, but then you can get them as a set. And this one has all kinds of different labels and icons having to do with travel. You've got a globe there, different hotel and destination kind of signs. A couple other stamp sets. These are brand new to the store and they're really fun. They're by Ink and Wit and they come in this cute little kind of match box. You just slide out the box here and you get a few in each. And this one is called A Day in Paris. So it comes with this cute little scooter and a little dog with rain boots and polka dots. I love the um, circle on her cheek and the bow above her ear. And then there's this little flag pendant design also, made of rubber material. So that was a day in Paris. Again, these are by Ink and Wit. 
This one is called Paris Jetame, and it has the Eiffel Tower, uh, a sassy poodle here, a little saying, and then you'll have to forgive me. I think this is like a tower of macaroons, which sounds like heaven, but if I'm if I'm mistaking that for something else, let me know. But I think that's what that is. And this, we just have a few left. This is on clearance, and I wanted to show you because I thought it would be a cool piece to add um, to maybe a cover album. It's an iron-on, um, so you can follow the directions here and put this on your cover or on a page or any sort of altered piece, which would be cool. And then, like I said, I had a few of you ask questions about what if I want a scrapbook on the road, um, what would you recommend? And I would recommend taking a journal with you. Um, I have a few here. This one is by Amy, excuse me, Amy Tangerine. It's the Off the Mac, day, Off the Map daybook, excuse me. And so if you're unfamiliar with these daybooks, these are kind of a mixed booklet that has been, they've been sewn down the middle and there's all different kinds of die cuts and patterns and shapes. There's pockets, all kinds of really interesting things made of different material. There's a vellum here. So it makes it really, each page is, you're wondering what, what's the next page gonna look like. So you could take a glue stick with you and some washi tape. You could use, um, you could stick in things, different memorabilia, different notes. You can get like a tablet of journaling notes and then stick them in. Um, if you have like, if you're a lucky person and have one of the instant cameras, like an Instax or a Polaroid, you could um, scrap the photos right away, or you could scrap on your phone, if you have a little portable printer, or wait till you get back and then just do the journaling and kind of the embellishing now. Um, that's an option. And this one I really like because of the cute little doodled airplane on the front. This is just a seal sticker that you can just take right off. Um, but each one of her day books starts with this kind of transparency and then it has an interesting pattern in the second part. There's also the Smash Journal and this has been wrapped in plastic just so you're aware um, it doesn't have this glossy finish. You would take it out and the Smash concept is that you just smash things and it comes with this glue stick pen and then there's all kinds of different accessories which I don't have time to show you today but um, there's different each page is a different design and I have also seen where people have ripped out the pages and used them on their individual scrapbook pages because they just love the design and the patterns um, but you could certainly use it in the book itself um, how it was intended and you can take tape um, paper clips you can just smash things right in there so this is the international theme. There's all kinds of different themes. I've just pulled this one today since we're talking about travel. It gives you journaling prompts. I like that they've mixed some real um, photography in with some interesting word art and different patterns. So you get a lot there. Illustrations as well. I think these are so fun and they make great gifts. Sushi, carpe diem. All right, so that is the smash book. There's also this little um, journal page kit from Seven Gypsies. This is the Mykonos line and these are little six by six journal pages that are kind of they're done for you where they've kind of created a composition already and they're double-sided and the other side has solids here. So this kind of has more of a Greek kind of design and feel to it. Um, and then there's also book covers. So these are sturdy chip, six by six chipboard covers that you could punch holes in and then use it with the journaling pages to create your own little mini album and certainly take this on the road with you or come back home and make a scrapbook. So lastly, I'm gonna show you the paper collections real quick. 
The first one is the Boarding Pass Collection from October Afternoon. This has been really, really popular. Um, it says reminisce about those travel memories with this collection of vintage patterns. So vintage is kind of their thing. And I'll just briefly go through the, the patterns here. As you can see, you get a couple of each. Different modes of transportation. They have a cream background. And they use a lot of distressing. Love the bold colors. I've seen this used a lot in non-travel pages too. Each collection kit comes with two um, 6x12 sticker sheets. This one is the word stickers. So you've got circles, tabs, or rectangles, borders, labels that you can fill out. And then there's a label sticker sheet as well. And then here we have the 12 by 12 alphabet sticker sheet, and I like that they have a multicolor here. And this, I believe, is the 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. And they have this little tourist guy with a camera in different places, um, cute little car stamps. This, I, I've seen Nancy, Garden Girl Nancy Damiano, um, take out the rectangles in this and put little um, photos behind it. Just very cool. So that is the Boarding Pass collection from October Afternoon. Another travel themed collection that I'm wondering is, it's not quite used as often in the travel, but I think is a great choice, um, is this Happily Lost collection kit. Um, and what I mean by I've not seen it used is because I've not seen it in the traditional sense. So if you like maybe these brighter, more flirty colors, um, rather than say the simple stories, destinations, or even kind of um, the color palette we saw in October afternoon. If you like this brighter color scheme, I think this is a really fun collection with whimsical designs like bicycles and butterflies. I love the name of the collection is Happily Lost. It's all about taking a journey and the patterns are very versatile so it's not limiting you. You can, once you move past your travel projects, you can certainly use them in a lot of other ways. And again, you get two of each sheet and they've got these basic polka dot patterns in the back here. This is the 6x12 sticker sheet where you get banners. There's that globe, little bicycle. Um, Different labels for you to to fill in our great adventure, and then this is um, a really cool alphabet sticker sheet where you get eight different alphas on one page, and it goes toward a lot of different titles and journaling um, for you there. Okay, one more collection, and that is the destinations collection from. Simple Stories. We just got back this back in stock because it was a pretty popular one. Um, this is kind of the, the brief overview of it. A lot of deep, rich colors in this one. So think about the destination and what the colors that you'll see in your photos. Um, is this kind of the look that you're wanting, that you're going for? This I love this journal page where you can cut up the different cards. And they, I've shown you these kinds of papers before from Simple Stories. They have little um, four by six slots in both the horizontal and the vertical. So these slip in easily with four by six page divided page protectors. So they come in a variety of sizes, like the six by 12. There's two different sections here. Here's their alphabet where you get four different designs. Three are these smaller ones, and then you get a whole array of word stickers. They've got that distressed kind of crackled treatment to them. And here are the element stickers. I love that camera. And you get tickets along the side, different labels, great big swirl and flourish. A polka dotted airplane. Why not put polka dots on an airplane? That's fun. Okay, so that wraps up the travel part one personal shopper video for today. Thanks so much for watching. And please leave a comment for your chance to win. I'm going to give away a goodie from today's video. And um, even though we're going to do part two of next week, don't forget to leave your comments from your, for your recommendations in the future. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys.